Welcome back to Nancy Drew's Secret of the Old Clock. Something I was wondering as we were sitting here. What happens if you just let the car run in place for like a really long time? Well, right now, gas, you have to actively be moving for the game to decrease your gas meter. You can think about that as we deliver the telegram. Hi, I have a telegram from Miss Ross. My name's Rebecca, and I'm only 10, but I'll deliver it to her for you, I promise. I won't let you down or double-cross you or anything like that. Well, okay. Thank you, Rebecca. No sweat. <laughs> I mean, you're welcome. Alright, so that will probably be the last telegram for a while. You know, until we need money. <clears throat> so, let's actually get back to business. I'm first I'm gonna get paid. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. Deliver this to Dr. Bob out at the observatory. Keep up the good work. The fact that it's Dr. Bob out at the observatory solidifies that decision, because that's far. Let's go past the Generator X building and head on back to the orphanage to give, you know, the toys over. Hi, do you have five toys for me? I certainly do. Oh, that's wonderful. You're such a saint, you hear me? A saint. I'd better get these inside before the children see them. Thank you so much. Uh, Mrs. O'Shea, the raffle tickets? Oh, the raffle tickets? I don't have them, dear. You'll have to pick them up from Phelps Print Shop. Then just take them straight to Mr. Kowski. We don't pull hair, Ralphie. Especially when we have jelly on our hands. <sighs> Phelps Print Shop. Wonderful. We're so thrilled about one extra more location to drive to. Fortunately for us, it's right here. Sorry, young lady, I'm about to close. I'm just here to pick up the raffle tickets you printed for Mrs. O'Shea. Aw, oh, darn it. I did tell her I'd have those done today, didn't I? Well, I'm sorry, but they're just gonna have to wait until tomorrow. Oh, but I need to have them today. And I need to go fishing. Fishing? My brother-in-law thinks he's hot stuff because he caught an 18-inch largemouth bass this morning. So I bet him I could catch a 19-incher by the end of the day. And if I do, I get his stamp collection. And if I don't, he gets mine. And since stamp collecting is about the only hobby I can afford these days, I am going fishing. I know! You stay here and print those raffle tickets and I'll go fishing for you! Not everybody can catch a 19-inch largemouth bass, you know. It takes skill and muscle. And brains. Bats are pretty smart. I can do it, Mr. Phelps. You better be right, because you're not getting those raffle tickets until I get my 19-incher. You can use my gear. I left everything out at the fishing hole. Great. I'll see you later. Well, at least fishing's fun. I liked fishing in Creature Kapu Cave, and this is actually the game that created the fishing minigame, not Kapu Cave. There's a book somewhere. We haven't seen that book yet because I haven't opened the shed First with the book thing in it. To do is bait my hook. But there's a book somewhere that will teach you how to catch yes. bass. Now I toss this in the water. And when the bobber goes under the water, I need to pull the line up fast. Thank you for teaching me how fishing works. Something something reads, I think, is what the book says. We can look when we get to that part of the game. <laughs> kind of playing out of order, but I don't care. I don't see another fish water, but we are supposed to have seen that book before we came here. Also, this takes longer than in Kapu Cave. Maybe I need to use something else for bait. Also, Nancy will randomly give up at some point. <clears throat> Let's try again. I was hoping we could pick up uh, the thing we needed on the first try. Are you... I don't know what the fish looks like, do I? Uh, largemouth bass. How big? 19 inches? Well, we'll go by inches. That's too small. This isn't what I want. Nancy will also yell stuff like, Oh, this isn't what I want. Let's try the reeds again. <laughs> Nancy's gonna hum. Yeah, uh, maybe. No, Nancy, if you don't want to hum, I fine. That's worse. I'm gonna throw this one back. 
All right, let's try grubs once more, but this time let's go to the rocks. I really don't want to go all the way back to Lilac Inn to do the part that needs to get the to get the book. I got one, an old shoe. Maybe there's money inside it. Look at that! I caught money. <laughs> now that's my kind of fishing. That's twenty-five cents right there. Yep. Heck, we might actually make two dollars just from fishing. If Grubs catches money. <laughs> Also, who puts a money in the lake? This is gonna fail, isn't it? Give me the indication it's not gonna work. Maybe I need to use something else for bait. Banos we haven't used yet. We also haven't used the center of the pond. Okay. What you gonna pull? Up. Oh. That's getting there, but it's not quite 19. This doesn't look like a largemouth bass. I'm more concerned that it's not 19 inches. Well, that seemed to do something good. Uh, let's try hitting the center again. Honestly, I would much rather be sitting here doing this fishing mini game than recording KO the kangaroo on another channel. That game is boring as a can. Oh boy, I'm beginning to really like fishing. How much is this gonna go in step two? Oh sweet, that was a dime. I like money. Yeah, KO the kangaroo is not that great. The animations are horrible. The voice acting is horrible. The uh, levels are okay. But, besides that, it doesn't have a lot going for it. Feels like that's the way of most cute platforming games. You got a cool looking character, but that game sucks. This isn't what I want. Oh well. We're still at the beginning phases of uh, playing it when this is being recorded. When this actually goes up, hopefully we'll be done actually. <laughs> when is this going up? May? Oh, I hope we're done by May. I don't want to be playing KO by then. Now, in my luck, we will, though. I got a fish. Wow, me babbling about hitting KO the kangaroo might be the key to winning. Looks like 19 inches to me. That's Nancy Swift's. Ew. Saying that's the wrong fish, fish isn't it? Really smells. This isn't a largemouth bass, is it? Let's see what you got in there. How about that? You did it. Here, let me take it from you. Please do. I think it's starting to get a little ripe. Just rest yourself a minute while I get those raffle tickets. There you go. Ten dozen tickets to the annual orphan's benefit. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go make a telephone call. To your brother-in-law? Yeah, the one who used to collect stamps. <laughs> Bye. I love that they actually added that laugh in. They didn't have to, but it adds a lot. All right. I now actually look what these look like. All right. They're boring. Here's the raffle tickets. Hi. You got those raffle tickets for me? I sure do. Great. And here are Mrs. Sheldon's bridge cards. One of the gals spilled Moxie all over them, but I cleaned them up real good, so let's not tell Mrs. Sheldon, okay? Okay. Thanks for your help, Miss Joukowsky. Thanks for your help. Bye now. Goodbye. What do they look like? Those are boring. Oh, those are bridge cards. Okay. I didn't never computed that bridge cards equals actual cards. Well, it's a good thing we found money when we were fishing because I'm going to need gas again. So I refuse to get a flat in this game or run out of gas because that's like $5 I don't have. Do you have my bridge cards? Right here. Good. And here is Josiah's trivet. I didn't realize when I asked to borrow it that it was such an eyesore. But once a sumptuous dish of my buff stroganoff was placed atop it, I assure you, no one noticed. Now do run along. My guests will be arriving any minute. And that dress of yours, it's, uh, well. <laughs> I like this dress. It's very flouncy. Flouncy? What kind of a word is that? Google, tell us, what is flouncy? I had a dictionary. I've I only got half a tank of gas left. I should gas up before I forget. 
Fine, that's Nancy's way of saying don't go back to the Lilac Inn like I was going to and fill it with gas. Which, honestly, that's probably not a bad reminder, because I don't know if I'm going to think about getting gas when we go back out again. Which will most likely be to go meet old man Johnson. Actually, no, not old man Johnson. Observatory, which while we're on the Welcome side of town... To Zippies, where Zipless service is Zippily Zapped, and Zippy service is the zippiest. Fill her up. Just 50 cents worth, please. Man, I wish gas was this cheap these days. That'll be 50 cents. Here you go. Drive Zippily. Cool. For some reason, only the first time you go to Zippy's will he ask if you need anything else. Every subsequent visit, he'll just say, Drive Zippily. I'm gonna go ahead and drop off the telegram with Bob at the observatory because... I don't... I need money now. I'm supposed to deliver this telegram to Dr. Bob. That would be me. Thank you. Wow, that's a big telescope. Come back after dark and I'll let you take a look. You can consider it your tip. I may just do that. Bye-bye. I wanted money! Well, we got money at fishing, which is the only other way you'll kind of make money in this game. You gotta fish a lot, though, for the money to start adding up. I guess it tracks, though. You gotta deliver a lot of telegrams to make money. Alright. Let's stop by here. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. Deliver this to Miss Temple at Lowood Academy. Keep up the good work. Well, if the next one's like two steps from the telegram office, I would be dumb not to just knock this out now. Hello, I've got a telegram for Miss Temple. I am she. We teachers don't get paid much, you know. I understand. Uh, did this by any chance used to be the Brewster Academy? Why, yes it did. Thought so. Bye. No one cares about the Brewster Academy. Ah ha ha ha. Ah ha ha. Did Pay you me. deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. This one goes to Dr. Ackerman out at the Deer Mountain Resort. Keep up the good work. I am not going to see Dr. Ackerman at the Deer Mountain Resort. Because that's actually out of my way. We're going to head home. Back bass Titusville Telco. She insists on calling it. And here we are. For, I guess we're going to do the thing I should have done before going fishing. Which is... A loud car. And this way, to the shed. Do you know how to open it? Well, you may remember, you can't read it right now, but Nancy taught, or saw the stuff in the journal. Uh, and I think I have everything I need. Including going back and watching the old videos again to try and find out... Uh, what, um... One of these things was, I think it was the poet's name. We do Keen. We do Omar. Game, thank you. Yay, yeah, memories that when I played this as a kid, the uh, thing doesn't want to click correctly. You win a pony from golfing. You are forced to play at least one round of golf. Panny. There's the O. There's the end, and then we just go till the Y. The Y, thank you. And Lois's glorious middle name. L O. You gotta spell this again in Lights, Camera, Curses, but that game hasn't happened yet. Step inside. We have a clock. Oh. That's the reset button. And I don't know what time to set that to, so we can ignore it. This is the book of what fish look like. Bo <laughs> Bogart's pond fish like. That's kind of funny. And it tells you what you need to do for the largemouth bass right there. It was minnows and it was the weeds. What do you know? If I know that the first time, we might not have waited that long. We also might not have made so much money. Which doesn't seem like a lot of money in modern standards, but in 1930 standards, that was a lot of money. This is a fun little dominoes puzzle. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and assemble it. I like dominoes. Do that, and then the six pieces up here. And then we need the three. And then this is junior mode, so this is actually, I think, rather easy. In fact, am I gonna do it without a single mistake? Looks like it. In fact, we're done. 
All right, who did I not place in the hole correctly? That one. <laughs> Well, that didn't do anything. What that did tell you is, look, a slot. I wonder what goes here. We only have two mirrors. I think we need three. Shoot, where's the third one supposed to be hiding? Let's go ahead and put this one up while we're here. If I spin, they'll tell me if I need a. I need a third one. I need a fourth one. Oh boy. Uh, we are a long way from being able to do anything in here then. In which case, Haskless enlighten me. Actually, what we can do is not do that. We're gonna go tell El Emily the sad, sad news. You should have done insurance better. And I'm also gonna look at the time. Oh, uh, we're doing okay-ish. I didn't look at the time exactly when we started, but we're almost probably gonna stop. Hi, Nancy. Did Josiah ever say anything about hiding his will somewhere? No, but he was always hiding stuff. I know because he was always writing reminders to himself about how to find it. But whenever the subject of his will came up, he'd just say he was happy knowing we were going to be happy when he passed on. Time will tell. That's all he'd say. Do you have any idea where Josiah may have hidden a safe deposit box key? He could have hidden it anywhere. He always said his favorite hiding place was right under people's noses. I'll be back in a little bit. Thanks again, Nancy. I guess we don't care about telling her I was in church. Or maybe I did that already and I don't remember. Okay. Well, we're gonna blab to Jane. <laughs> Oh, what time is it? Where are you, phone? Ah, uh, That should be a decent length. We'll stop here. So next time on Nancy Drew Seeker, The Old Clock, we'll talk to Jane. See you guys then.